And welcome back everybody to Let's Play Persona Q. I am your host, The Musical Gamer. We filled out a hole last time, and Ray had to go be brave and free us from our trapped prison in this in this giant room over here. Uh, but this time, we have gotten out of there. We are almost done mapping this floor, and we need to solve this puzzle. Now this puzzle is going to have something to do with these three rooms, and, uh, well, last time, between videos, I decided to go back to the third floor, fill in this room that we fell down in before, last time, which completed this floor so we can go collect the treasure there at some point. However, I think we should probably finish the puzzle here first and find the stairs. I'm probably going to find the stairs and not go down them. <laughs> I'm going to probably warp myself back uh, home, go to the third floor, collect the treasure there, go to the fourth floor, or come back to the fourth floor, collect the treasure, which is over here, and we will go from there. So, I did happen to notice that there is a book in this room as well, which I missed last time. So I'm hoping this is going to answer some questions. Mm -hmm. Same symbols. Mm. Oh, no, no minus or pluses. Mm. Well, I figured that much. Okay. So we know that there's something about it. We just don't know what. Uh, which is less than good. I was... Oh God, I was actually really hoping that that would answer my questions. But it doesn't. And that's really bad. Because here's this room, and... I can't even read the books in here because it's so freaking dark. It's too dark in this room to read at all. How do we turn the lights on? How do we make it... Light. I, I almost feel like I'm probably missing something. It's too dark to read in this room at all. It's not in this room. There's light in this room. Where do I go? How do I solve this puzzle? All the pages have the symbols plus plus written on them. You're not sure what this means. Oh god. Are you, are you gonna tell me that I like missed something somewhere in this dungeon? That I can't actually solve this puzzle? That is going to be really frustrating if that's the case. And I'm not gonna be happy about that. Damn it! Uh, give me a second. I'm gonna I'm gonna find out what it is I'm missing, and then I'm gonna see if I'm gonna solve the puzzle at that point. Just just I'll be back in a second. Okay. Uh, I'm back, and I know the solution to the puzzle. I have no idea how you're supposed to figure this out. The it doesn't really give you much information. I I maybe I missed something, but I am not gonna go back and scour this dungeon to see if I can find what I've missed. But it's another one of those stupid door puzzles, like on the last floor. Where you have to go through the doors in specific orders. Uh, because we turned the lights on in this area, this door is now unlocked, so we can actually go through this door. So, we go this way, then down, then to the right. Going back up, then we double back down. Over to the left. Back again. And finally up. Now, will that work? Yes, it did. Da, 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 da. Okay, door's open. I I don't know how you're supposed to figure that out. I the This whole area has just been super abstract. It doesn't really make much it doesn't really make much sense. The puzzles are kind of vague, and I'm sure if I could have figured out how to turn the lights on in these two rooms, maybe I would have discovered more information about this puzzle, but I have no idea how to do that. I have turned on the lights in all of these areas, and it doesn't bleed over into here, so I have absolutely no clue how you're supposed to do it, how it's supposed to... Another successful be discovered. Deception. Yes, we've discovered. We've no solved the puzzle. <sighs> I needed some help from the internet on that one. I'm not gonna lie. Uh... 
Hmm. I'm usually good with puzzles, but when I don't have all the pieces, I can't figure it out. Excuse me. <laughs> Amazing huh? in your own right. Yeah, good old Kanji. Huh? Updating database. Total number of heartbeats? Damn, dude. Why? How is this going to help us? Yes. Oh, Kanji and Shinji have the steadiest pulses. Well done. Yeah, sure. I suppose. He's a big tough guy. He don't need no he ain't gonna be scared or nothing. Same with Shinji. Shinji's like the dad of the group. This is <laughs> His pulse has suddenly gone up. <laughs> red alert! Red alert! What the hell are you talking about? Um I Where's the ghost? Uh... No, there's no ghost. Hmm. It's just the uh the hormones of a prepubescent well, prepubescent? No, I suppose he's actually pubescent, wouldn't he be? He's, I think, what, 16? What exactly did Kanji say right there? He seemed to be rejecting a statement. <laughs> a secret message, I guess. One that I don't think you'll ever understand. <clears throat> Not until the answer. I have a hard time comprehending. Yeah, no kidding. The request to convey a secret me- Oh! <laughs> okay. We have, a me we have a request now for that. Fair enough, game. Ooh, hello. Enemy is rare. Let's be cautious. Uh, we will be cautious indeed. However. Uh, how am I going to handle this? I mean, Junpei's got the... Maybe I should just... I should just focus effort on one. I could have, I guess, used Heavy Shot, but no, I don't think I'm going to... Yeah, just, just go ahead. Make Patra Holy Blessing. Yeah, I don't really have any multi-targeting moves. Naoto does, but that is such a, a waste of SP. I mean, yeah, we're gonna probably go back soon, but nah, let's just let's just focus fire. Missed. Oh, please don't kill me. Oh, oh no. Oh. All right, just do it again. Maybe we'll kill one. I'm gonna be totally okay if we only kill one. Dodged. Impossible. Damn it. The enemy is seriously. God. Damn it. It's one hit. Okay. Let's try this again. All right. What's next? It dodged. Impossible. Damn it. God, we just cannot hit this thing for crap. Yep, there we go. That's one hit. Target lost. Again. It's probably gonna run after this turn. And this is just a total waste of time. What is my next order? Oh no, it didn't run. Ooh, nice. Good, we killed one. If only all opponents were this easy. I'm almost level 46. Which is gonna be good for fusing some stuff, I think. If I remember correctly, I think there's some stuff at level 46. Or maybe maybe it was 45. Maybe I can already do it. And I'm just I'm just a derp and I can't remember. Uh, let's go down. We're close to the stairs. Okay, there are the stairs. All right, that'll take us to floor five. Oops. I did not mean to do that. We got a gumball. Are you kidding me? Really? We are missing literally 1% of floor. Where the hell am I missing, like, one step? It's probably up in this room. Like, there's probably a spot in there that I can actually get to that I missed. That is annoying. Ah. Alright, well, w Gumball, I'm gonna equip that to Zen and Ray. Or maybe not. Magic Bind. Lots of Magic Bind. Bursts with gum on impact, preventing the victim from using magic. I don't know why that pre <laughs> that prevents them, but uh, I guess I've heard stranger things. 
Okay, well, we found the stairs. We have pretty much explored this floor. Let's actually use the go home more. So we can come back to the entrance of the fourth floor and double back to the third floor, get that chest. And I'm going to see about filling in this area up here, getting 1% more floor completion. Uh, oh, we've actually got some strolls to see too. All right, we'll take a look at that in a second. Uh, yes, we do, I think. Yeah, the syringe. This is... Sure. Uh, you're not gonna do anything with it? Oh, whatever. Uh, this is some exceptional material. What is this fluttering feeling I have in my chest? Uh, I could say something, but I'm not going to. Is this... Whew. Tsubaki Maru, Ganar, Ravenclaw, Scutum! Savior Claw, Capital Row, Mystic Veil, Anti Seal Armor. More Anti Seal Armor, maybe for men and women. Paralysis Row, Purging Charm, Free Ornament. Nice. Ah, Junpei, you. That is actually a decent upgrade for you. I'm going to give it to you. Congratulations. You get a new weapon. Soji does not. <laughs> Sorry, Soji. Oh wow, Koromaru, you are very far behind on weapons. Uh, take the Ravenclaw, please. Not to be confused with Rowena Ravenclaw. Yes, yeah, same with you, Yukiko. I've really kind of fallen behind on equipping some of these people. I will get that for Kanji, but I'm going to hold off until I actually use them. Same with Teddy. Armor-wise... I guess does not need that. She's good for now. We are good for now. Mystic Veil Capital Robe. Oh, Naoto doesn't need it. But, oh, oh, yeah, it's a huge upgrade for the women. For the most part. Especially Yukari, who still has a survival guard. Yeah, most everybody else here has, like, good armor. Except Yukari. And some of the guys that I haven't been using in a while. Ah, the paralysis rope is actually something for you two. Raises resistance to paralysis. Eh, which isn't bad. I would, I would rather give you the twin suits, though, because that's better defense. What things do we have here? Free ornament. Use chance of strength magic and agility bind. Okay. I think we have one more, don't we? Yes, Spurgeon Charm. Chance of Curse goes down. And that's it. Alright, so some interesting stuff, but nothing like... Insanely useful. Uh, some better armor, some better weapons, for sure, but... We're gonna just leave that be for now. Let us check requests. Take it. Convey a secret message. Find a secret message I hid on the Evil Spirit Club 4th story. Sure. Sure thing, Kanji. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, no, this is for Elizabeth. There's an area where five small rooms sit next to one another. What? Please take this. Elizabeth's note. 33242X. Five rooms? Small rooms next to each other? She's not talking about... Is she talking about these rooms? She might be, actually. That very well might be it. Okay, well, that's fine. We'll take the request. And we'll probably solve it, but we'll take a look at these strolls first, since we come back and we can... Ah, no, I didn't mean the Velvet Room. Though I should actually think of using Welcome some personas. Room. <laughs> While I'm here. What are we what are we looking at? Uh, oh, that's right. We have Hellbiker. Which would be interesting, to say the least, to have somebody use. I would love to get thrown. 
Believe me, I would love to get thrown. I mean, some of these guys look really good and are really tempting. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, Basilisk. Ye right. That's actually what Basilisk... <laughs> Wow, my my brain, my childhood couldn't comprehend that for a minute because of Harry Potter. The, that is, in fact, what a basilisk is supposed to look like, I think, in actual mythology. And they just made it a giant snake in the Harry Potter series, which is not entirely true. I wish, that, I wish it would give you, like, uh, mythological information like it did in the other games, like P3, MP4. That'd be really cool. You learn a little, a little bit about of um, mythology and... Mystical creatures, angelology, demonology, I love that stuff. These games are why I'm even into that stuff. Uh, let's register everybody while we're here. Alright, let's get out of here. We'll take a look at these strolls. I, I God damn, ah, my thumbs. I've got freaking, I've got freaking fat thumbs, I swear. I can't click things for shit down thank you you did a good job Ray I think I can guess what this is about <laughs> yeah you're, you're the real MVP Ray you had some real MLG pro status on that move mm -hmm. how could it be oh god wait she doesn't want food <sighs> yes and a cheat. God damn it. <laughs> I could go for some Italian food too, but first I want what you promised me. Hmm. Oh, yeah, that's right. Mitsuru, I think, said you'd give her what? An all, all you can eat buffet, basically? <laughs> the smoked ham shanks. Huh? <sighs> oh, M Mitsuru! Come on! <laughs> Lied! I don't recall mentioning these smoked ham shanks. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a honey baked ham. Instead of glazing it with honey, you smoke it with wood chips. Wow. Huh. I'm surprised you know how to do it. I usually use my own personal blend of wood chips. Even you know what a ham lo ham hock? Oh ham hock. Looks like <laughs> I thought that said something different for a my second. Goodness. <laughs> Wait, me too? Oh wow! Yeah, it looks like you two are in charge of feeding the ever the never ending glutton that is Ray. <sighs> Yay! Uh, have fun guys. Have fun with that one. What's up? No. I have none of this jelly. I do not know what you speak. <laughs> you little colorful clown bear. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, I, I give her some credit there, Zen. Hmm. Okay. That's the sorrow of all dads in this world. How would you know this? Uh. Hmm. <laughs> dads, daughters, what are you talking about? Just don't listen to him. <laughs> oh. Wowza! Oh, of course. Well, at least they're all honoring Ray for her achievements. That's uh, that's always a good thing. She did a good job. I'm I'm not I'm not complaining. I'm just I'm very surprised I didn't have to do it myself. Yeah, that is indeed true. Do you see the burden of providing backup now? Eh, yeah. Kinda. Kinda sucks not being able to do anything yourself. <laughs> That's our Akihiko Senpai, alright. Mr. Meathead. <laughs> of course. I wanna kick some shadow ass. Mm. Are you more like Akihiko-san than you look? A little bit. 
Minato can be kind of bloodthirsty sometimes. Hey now! Let's see. Hmm. An OR that shouldn't exist? What is this, a soap opera? More like scenes from the next grudge. Uh, <laughs> Akihiko, you know, dude, read the mood. The air seemed to suddenly grow colder. <laughs> oh, God damn. Oh, well. Guess that's what that is. Uh, let's see if we can go collect that treasure on the third floor. Start from the furthest floor. We are going to go see if we can find that treasure, and then we will come back here. And I'm going to see if I can actually get any more spots on that floor. Yes, I know we have to find the message. What's up? Uh, why are we going to talk to him? What is he going to do for us? Got to be her way of confess uh, to me. Well, I mean, we did have many romantic moments in P3, but uh, you're not supposed to know that. Are you serious? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll we'll do that. Uh, but first things first. Let's go find that chest. I believe it's relatively close by here. Yeah, it's uh wait. Yeah, it's right over there. So all we need to do is just warp ourselves through this and fly all the way down. I'm not gonna bother with these fools. The threat level is low. Time to run. No, time to run! No rocking for you, Junpei. No rocking for you. Not today, at least. If we can actually get away... Actually escaping would be a pretty nice thing. To escape, to escape. There we go. Thank you, you. Alright. Through the door. And what do we have in this chest? I found a treasure box. Oh, we hold, we got a yin yang charm. What do we do with this? Black and white magatama that is said to contain body and spirit. I'm wondering if this is something either for Theo or something that'll get us a new persona. Do they tell us what um what items give us personas? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, velvet ticket. 25% of the compendium, summoning discount 10%. That is nice. Okay, good. There's the there's the note. Okay, no, it would tell us if it would summon a persona. So I'm assuming it's for Theo then. So next time on Let's Play Persona Q, I will I'm gonna go about and seeing about completing that floor, the fourth floor. Probably gonna have to go into this area to do it. But we will do it. And then we will collect the treasure. And then we will move on to the fifth floor. This is the Musical Gamer signing off. I will see you guys in the next video. Catch you guys then.